Occasionally, an artist has the rare privilege of creating their own world to live in. Hi everyone, Ken here. Welcome to This House. Today we are exploring Corner's Folly in North Carolina. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a fascinating episode of This House. Jewel Corner had a successful career as an artist. In the mid-1800s, he had made a name for himself, traveling up and down the East Coast, painting murals on the sides of buildings. Bull Durham Smoking Tobacco was his largest client, and they paid him handsomely for his work. By 1880, he had saved up enough money to pivot into his dream career path to become an interior designer. He purchased a four-story house in Kernersville, North Carolina, and began extensive renovations to showcase his creative ability to potential clients. Originally, the old farmhouse included stables at the ground level, with the main living area starting on the second floor. He enclosed the stables to create a grand first floor. Next, he planned out the facilities, choosing to build an Albrecht privy instead of a traditional outhouse. The interior of the home became an artist's paradise, where Jewel could work day and night, applying cast plaster details to the walls and ceilings. He incorporated maidens into door surrounds and the upper mantles of fireplaces, and where the walls curved to meet the ceiling, Elaborate murals were framed by cast plaster. He renovated the main stair hall to incorporate classical elements while still maintaining some of the original rustic charm. Of the many fireplaces found throughout the house, no two were identical. Each hearth embraced its own color in the form of handmade tile surrounds, being thoughtfully integrated and framed by their lower mantles. The bedrooms were planned with low ceilings, creating a cozy atmosphere with ornate wood paneling and oversized fireplaces to distort the sense of scale. But of all the rooms in the house, one stood out as Jules' crowning achievement. On the fourth floor, where the roof's gables meet, Jules created Cupid's Park, which has been touted as possibly the first private in-home theater in the United States. In this space, on this stage, Jules and his wife Polly welcomed local children to learn about the arts and perform plays as part of their juvenile lyceum. Today, the house known as Corner's Folly is open to the public for tours, where guests can continue to appreciate Jules' artistry, everything from the tile mosaic porch, to the grand styling of the parlors, to an attic filled with exquisite murals and ornate plasterwork. All of these rooms have been meticulously restored and maintained for future generations to enjoy. Which part of this house was your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments section. And while you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time on This House.